Now, why? Because even the Spirit, Holy Spirit himself is selfless. Jesus says this concerning Holy Spirit over in John chapter 16. He says that when Holy Spirit comes, he will not speak of himself. He'll only share with you what I have said and done. That's all he talks about is Jesus. He never he, he is never boasting. He's never talking about himself. So if you're being led by the Spirit of God, you will instinctively become selfless and more concerned with your brothers, more concerned with the welfare of others. Oh, hallelujah. I like that. All right. So uh, verse 17 says this, for the flesh lusts against the Spirit. Here it is. And the spirit, again, that's capital S, against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So that you uh, do not do uh, the things that you wish. See, saints, you got to catch that. Now, he's saying here that there is a flesh war going on inside of you. It's the spirit of God versus the, the carnal nature. And they're wrestling, dry, trying to uh, be the one that is leading you. And you must allow Holy Spirit to conquer and to lead. And the only way you can do that is through submission to Holy Spirit. Whoa, that's good stuff. Precious one, I want to, remind you again, I, I have this matzah in my hand. And this matzah represents the stripes that Jesus bore on his back. And those stripes that Jesus bore on his back, the Bible declares, afforded us healing in our bodies. It afforded us the ability to think rationally, to think above our carnality, to flow with the mind of God. Is that not beautiful? It empowered us to bear the weight of glory on the inside of us. And so I thank you, Jesus, as I bless this matzah. And symbolically, as your flesh was broken for us, I break this wafer and I bless it and I partake of it. Thank you, Jesus. In the same way, I've said this over and over again, and you just have to visualize this in your spirit. Jesus took from us the cup of God's wrath, and he extended to us the cup of his righteousness. Is that not beautiful? That is precious, powerful. Or really, you can't even wrap your head around how is it that one man can shed his blood in the righteous life that he lives all of a sudden is applied to my account, to your account. Is that not beautiful? Thank you, Jesus. As we partake of this cup, we recognize that we are one with your righteousness. Thank you, my Savior. Thank you, my Lord. All right. The saints, I, I want you to really make it a practice to join me here on uh, your mentoring moment. I'm here uh, Mondays. I'm live Mondays. Uh, Wednesday, there's a re-airing, and then I'm live again on Fridays. I want you to be with me uh, in, in these times because God has given me such a download uh, consistently wanting to express to you his heart and his mind. Not only that, I release power into you right now. The power of God that is flowing through me by way of Holy Spirit, I release it unto you. You see, what, we, what God is asking us to do in this word, the only way we can do it, saints, is through his power, the power of Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of us. And this is why it's so important. This is why Paul is cautioning us. Uh, walk in the spirit. Be led by the spirit of God. You are the sons and daughters of God. If you're led by the spirit of God, if you walk in the spirit, you are afforded or you have tapped into or you will tap into the power of God. In that, saints, that makes you far above a mere mortal. That's hard to believe, but that's what the Bible says, and I believe it. And it, it is not true because I believe it. It's true because God has established it. Is that not beautiful? Now, 
If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is your moment. And I'm asking you to recognize that without God, without Jesus, you have to stand before God with your sin. With Jesus, your sin debt is canceled. So accept that right now. Ask God and repent and ask him to come into your heart and live and be saved. And if you do that, you will join the, the family of God there in glory. And I celebrate that with you. Now, having said that, precious ones, I want to encourage you as you go forth today, expect signs and wonders to follow you. Why? Because you, precious one, you are a believer. Now, I'm Pastor Morris. This has been your mentoring moment. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you on the next time. The sun sets free, is free indeed. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I'm free to worship, free to praise, free to lift up holy hands and magnify his name. I'm free to worship, free to praise, free to lift up holy hands magnify his name he whom the sun sets free is free Blessings this morning, saints of the Most High God. Thank you for watching your mentoring moment. I truly hope this episode blesses and encourages you. You can message me at sidroth.org forward slash Morris. If there's anything you'd like to share, I would love to hear of the stories of the signs and wonders, even the praises and prayers that God's doing in your life. I want to celebrate with you. Blessings be